As workers return to the office, there's something different on the morning commute. I'm Jonathan Bloom, and here's what to know about the Bay Area's freeway express lanes. A lot of people worked from home over the last two years, but some workers were using that time to finish up a big change to Highway 101. Where there used to be carpool lanes, now the Bay Area's newest express lanes give drivers a choice to fly past the traffic for a price. The Bay Area now has 155 miles of express lanes with more on the way. They all operate on weekdays from 5 in the morning until 8 at night. And during those hours, if you want to drive in those lanes, you need to have a fast track toll tag. You can move in and out of the express lanes anywhere there's a dashed line. But be careful because in some places there's a double white line and crossing that is illegal. Now, back in the old days, you just needed two people in the car to drive in most Bay Area carpool lanes. Or you could buy a sticker for your electric car and drive in that lane by yourself. But with express lanes, it's a little bit more complicated. The signs have pricing on them, and the price is constantly changing from one minute to the next. If you're driving by yourself in a regular car, you can move into the express lane and you'll automatically pay the toll that's on the sign. If you have a clean air vehicle or a two-person carpool, you can pay half price if you have one of the new fast track flex toll tags and if you have three or more people in the car you can use the lane for free so can buses and motorcycles but how do they come up with the prices well that goes back to why the lanes were created in the first place they're using the laws of supply and demand to make traffic move faster Caltrans did a study and found out the old two-person carpool lanes were just getting too congested. They could build new ones, but they'd be just as slow as regular lanes. Now, they could have switched to a three-person carpool lane, but that would have the opposite problem. Not enough cars would use it, and so the other lanes would get slower. But what if they could sell off the extra room in that three-person carpool lane to drivers who were really in a hurry? That takes enough cars out of the regular lanes to make everyone go faster, and it also means less pollution from stop-and-go traffic. But the key is it only works when you have the right balance of cars between the express lanes and the regular lanes, and that's why the tolls are always going up and down. When the express lane starts to fill up, the price starts to rise. It can go as high as $15, at which point most drivers will say it's not worth it. So then if the lane starts to empty out, the price goes down and it can go as low as 50 cents. On a typical day, the average toll during peak commuting hours is about $7, all computed automatically in real time based on the traffic. Now, once you enter the lane, you've locked in your price. Even if it goes up, you'll pay what the sign originally said until you get to the end of that zone. Then look up, check the toll for the next zone, and see if it's worth it to stay in the lane or move over to the right and save some cash. But if you're thinking of cheating the system, watch out. CHP is patrolling those lanes, and they'll get a signal if you're using the carpool switch on your fast track tag. If they pull up behind you and see that you're actually all by yourself, you can expect some flashing lights and at least a $400 ticket.